Now here's a waveform of a pickup coil on a distributor that I've captured and I have it on uh, replay mode. You can see that this is an AC voltage sine wave because as we look at the A line, which is right here, half of our signal is above and the other half is below. So that means this is an alternating current. And we're going to show, I'm going to show you how we can use the cursors to measure the voltage output of this AC voltage generator. So let me hit play and I'll show you how important trigger is. So I'll hit play and at the beginning of this I had moved the cursor out of the waveform just so you could see what that pattern will change to. There it's out. And then it comes back in. So sort of knowing what kind of a pattern you're going to be looking at helps you to decide exactly where you want to set that trigger so you can get a nice smooth even pattern. Like I said, if the trigger isn't in the right spot, you know, the machine will never know where you want to start this pattern. So we'll just stop it right... Oops, we'll wait until we get a nice pattern here. And there's a good pattern. So we'll clear the menu and then we'll set the cursors up and we'll be able to measure the amplitude of this. So let's move this to the highlight the bottom cursor. And then we'll highlight the top cursor and move it down. So we see we have about 6.32 volts, which is AC voltage. But if we put our digital meter on here, we'd only read half of it because the DC meter, the digital multimeter is going to divide it in half. So I'm going to, uh, oh, and that also holds true for Hall effects. If it's a 5 volt reference being turned on and off, a true RMS meter will display that at 2.5 volts. So if you want to do a quick and dirty on a Hall effect and you're getting 2.5 volts on it, it should be uh, a pretty good sensor, but it's always nice to see the pattern with a DSO. So I'm going to put this down here, and that's about what the, a digital meter is going to say when you have it on there. But it's nice to be able to see this pattern. I've had these before to where they'd have glitches in them and they'd have a pattern that goes like this for a long time and then they'd stumble. The engine would stumble and it was because this uh, signal generator is not sending the right signal frequency to the processor in order to control spark. That's it for now. We'll have some more videos later.